Now, now we're gonna see what he what he can do against Cypher Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, a little bit unconventional that Nair. You'd expect an up tilt or something. Yeah, I like that it. He was going for I think a really really quick cheese kill actually, because getting the knockoff there, you can get a forward smash or something. Right. So testing Cypher Phoenix's awareness immediately, and good stuff from Cypher Phoenix to DI the right way. Ooh. Love the jab, and then good spacing for the forward smash. Mm -hmm. Just clean kill. Yep. Peace crap. We call him PC. <laughs> I, feel like that, I feel like that's a problem. <laughs> I, I don't know about that. Yeah, maybe not. All right, good stuff from Cypher Phoenix. Found in the dreams, of course, a super high ceiling. Not going to kill yet. Uh, Peacecraft really, really likes landing dare, huh? Yeah. He's used it in neutral a bunch. He's used it to get out. Oh, that sucks. Uh, take those. We oh. take those. Yep. Not the best follow-up with the up airs, and now Peacecraft got a little thing cooking. Oh. <gasps> this could be so bad. Yeah. Okay. Cypher Phoenix was really playing on the edge there, trying to get that kill, and took a few percentage mm -hmm. as a result. Having a lot of trouble edge guarding Peacecraft right now. Yeah. All right, up throw, up air will do it. I'm a little scared of how Cyber Phoenix is playing by the ledge, to be honest, because yep. he's not gotten a lot off of it. He's mostly just gotten reversal for his efforts. Right. But if he cleans it up, then you get a quick stock, so. Nice empty hop. Fares to play it safe. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That could have been huge. Yeah. Getting a drill on Marth, low percents, that's exactly what you're looking for, but yeah. didn't convert. Man. Again, again. Cypher Phoenix's ledge dash is obviously not on point right now. Got to keep an eye to see if he keeps going for them or if he starts using some other options. Some pretty clean tech skill. Um, getting Ooh. Oh, shines out of shields into double shines, like all this types of stuff. It looks really good, but you got to play a little more clean against Marth. Ooh, just like that. Yeah. Get, picking up that back air. It looks like his off-stage play is actually paying off. Yeah, yeah, there. That's what I was, what we were saying, right? right. Uh, I mean, it's scary, but <gasps> that could have been huge. Oh, Dude. oh man, he's. Oh, is that it? Okay. No, Pete Scraft's still alive. That would have been such a heartbreaking way for him to lose game one. Yeah. Man, these dares in neutral finally paying off for once. Up there in the back area. Oh, wow. Ooh. Calls it out. Yeah. That was so funny because we okay. see Cypher Phoenix SD on that left side of the stage ledge dash twice before. He still goes for it, has the faith. Yep. And Peacecraft still respected it, obviously. He still baited it out and just tippered him. Yeah. So, nice stuff. I mean, amazing spacing. I think I, I mentioned this earlier on in the day, but it's really interesting how tri state players in particular, I think we have uh, an advantage with respecting uh, perfect ledge dashes. I Yes, I agree, because we've been under the doctrine of hacks money yeah, for years. exactly. And it's not just him, it's now IBDW. Yep. It's like, you know, Long Island Foxes too have that. Mm -hmm. It's it's every fox that is in the area has been <laughs> drinking from the fountain of hacks money. <laughs> and so, like, we know the spacing of a perfect ledge dash up smash. Yep. And that's proof right there, Peacecraft finishing game one. Uh, ooh, nice little tight combo. Oh, no jump. Oh, he waited Really for it. patient. Yeah. Could have just grabbed. Yeah. Grab probably would have led to more, too, you think. Maybe if he gets the side of the shine to send Peacecraft off stage. Right. But still, just really clean, picking good options and taking a kill. Yeah, really that quick. was that was just a really nice punish from Cypher Phoenix and really nice reads on Peacecraft's recovery, which he's had a bit of trouble with beforehand. Yeah. So we got to see if that starts to uh, shift the tides. I really like Cypher Phoenix's style. Um, I actually think it's a style that I strive for myself. Sure. In that it's um, he's very patient. But yeah. When he strikes, it's it's kind of brutal. Um, he doesn't see like he goes through these follow-ups, um, but he doesn't. Oh, I was complimenting you. I was in the midst of saying your style is great. It still is. Yeah, I mean, I think we can still say the style is great. I yeah. think that uh, 
he, he plays with goals in mind. I think you see it there. Both times where he's had a chance to maybe get an up air, he just goes for bear instead because he says, well, the game's about putting the opponent off the stage, so I'm going to do that, I think. Yeah. No, it's a, it's a really respectable style um, in that you understand what you need to do. And, um, like, he's doing lasers a little bit. He's doing he's doing everything a little bit that he's keeping him his options open. Um, I think Dreamland, I mean, everyone knows it's good against Marth, but I think especially for his style, yeah, I think it's actually paying off pretty well. Nice forward smash. That, okay, that, that had the potential to just get, take him the stock, give okay. him the stock right away. So, so Peacecraft's neutral game has started being pretty much, oh my what god. What the hell? I, I actually like that a lot because uh, it, it was a sort of weird height, and if they, that's a tech trap. Uh -huh. Where if they miss the tech there, you really easily get a forward smash or just a, a down air or something. So, right. Oh yeah. That all came from just an overshoot dash attack. Mm -hmm. Really smart. And Cyber Phoenix heavy lead right now. Okay. Peacecraft neutral looking a little bit hurried, you know what I mean? He's always yep. choosing the first option. Run in and do a move. Okay, do it again. Okay. Cypher Phoenix living. And uh, now he's at a hard percent. I mean, this game is all but finished. Yeah, it, it's pretty, pretty close. <laughs> um, <but laughs> Peacecraft's still fighting it out, but at this point, yeah, you gotta be thinking about game three, and that's where we're going right now. Yeah. So, really good stuff from Cypher Phoenix. Uh, uh, three stock. Yeah, I gotta say, uh, Dreamland definitely played a big, big part because he's so good at running away, but that was also a different Cypher Phoenix, I wanna say, than what we saw in game one. He yeah. was a lot more efficient in cleaning up kills and stuff, and I think he's sort of. I wonder if the weird platform heights on. Fountain of Dreams are maybe not necessarily good for him as a player. Interesting. With someone who it, his his punishes have been very standard, very flowcharty, and that's generally the opposite of the types of punishes that define Fountain. You know. Right. And as you say that, um, I could see him taking this game too. Yeah, for sure. Because um, Fox, obviously, the 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 mindset is okay. Marth wins here. But Fox has a lot of stuff on FD. Yeah, uh, and I think that Peacecraft's uh, combos off throws have not particularly been as lethal as you would want on this stage, right? Like right there, oh, right. you actually got killed for it. Yeah, so. he had a good amount of op uh, open openings. That's the word. And he didn't really fall through. He didn't get the kills. Oh, crazy. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Really good movement. Dodging fares out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Cypher Phoenix is really playing his game right now. Yeah, Peacecraft's looking a little bit at a loss in neutral to me. I love how he comes down with, with lasers. He's like, okay, combo over, time to get my extra. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, see, even that, okay, okay, that was nice. Oh, that uh, was nicer it, until the, <laughs> until until the it wasn't, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but these little three-piece combos aren't cutting it for, for Peacecraft right now. On this stage, you really got to kill when you kill Fox. Yeah. Like, uh, at max, the, the whole reason the stage is good is, is to get your big combos. Okay, that was a nice bait from Peacecraft. I love that extra fair. Wow. Uh, uh. Maybe we don't need grabs. Yeah, maybe not. Peacecraft taking the lead. Now he gets another opening. Oh, Ooh. what? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, you gotta have it. You gotta have it really locked down. And um, Cypher Phoenix's DI is good, but I don't think it's like it shut down every Marth good. No. You know? Okay, I like that re grab there. I also honestly like that Nair there because you're not hitting your punishes. So if you have an opportunity to maybe send Cypher Phoenix off stage where you have been now excelling and edge guarding him, right. maybe that's the better decision, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so Peacecraft is not lost. He's just not optimal. No. And that's, that's an important distinction. Because just because you're not zero yeah, to death every time right. doesn't mean you're you're incapable of winning the match. No, for sure. Um, but that being said, I, I still think this is an important... This stage is so important to just when you get an opening, you got to end it. 
Yeah. Ooh, that could have been it. <laughs> I think Peacecraft has had such good reads on Cypher Phoenix's side Bs right now, and in baiting them out too. He's been doing these jumps and stuff. Yeah, that should close it out. Just go out there and end him. <gasps> nice. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Well, it's a little scary for the Peacecraft fans. Yeah. But <laughs> looked pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was very good awareness by him to realize, actually, if I go out and fair right here, it's going to tip her. He's going to go up. He's actually going to probably be able to get back to stage. But yep. if I just up B, he's dead. Yep. Yeah. Nice stuff. Definitely uh, uh, shining more in the offstage game than the combo game yep. on that stage. And, and a little scary a couple times where Peacecraft would drop something and Cypher Phoenix would come back and get a combo. But uh, now he's up 2-1. This is uh, a very good stage for Fox. Um, and definitely in the, the modern meta, this is the Fox stage for sure. Oh, nice, yeah. efficient. Yep. Jab up smash. That's a Cypher Phoenix kill confirm if I've ever seen one. <laughs> I love jab. Fox jab is uh, it's quite a move. Very good. Really good follow-ups. That's not an easy shine to get a grab off of. No. Yeah, you saw how long his wave dash was. Woo! Man, Peacecraft's edge guards on these side Bs have been immaculate, dude. Yeah, for sure. <gasps> Nice. Great, great idea to just go straight up there from Cypher Phoenix. Um, it's so scary, though, because Peacecraft has really been mixing up whether he goes for counter or F smash or, or something else yep. when the Fox is off stage, you know? Yeah, Peacecraft's one of his biggest strengths is the edge guard. Mm -hmm. um, really just smart, just go straight up. And now uh, Cypher Phoenix with a little lead. Oh, boxing him away with these fares. And that F smash. Yeah. yeah. Cleans it up again. Um, trusting his reaction. So if he goes to ledge, I, I assume he would do the forward smash a little faster. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting rolls from Cypher Phoenix. Ooh, a little early on the fair. Nice. Uh, a little low percent for that to really kill. Yeah. Cypher Phoenix getting a follow-up for it. Really scrappy place. I'd be almost killing him. Oh, <gasps> the Phantom there. This is actually so huge. It reversals so that now it's Peacecraft off stage. Okay. This is such good and sloppy melee at yeah, the same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Nice edge cancel there. He's still taking him for a ride though. Down air. Wow, Woo! that's gonna kill off the side. Wow, very unorthodox. That whole stock was just bonkers, but. Now, okay. Cyber Phoenix just one grab. Yep. Last stock, man. His up throw up airs have been very, very on point. Whoa! Let's yeah. go. Yeah. That that uh, that fast fall from Peacecraft to snap to ledge has been really, really important. It's standard stuff, but the one time you miss it, it's very bad for you. Yeah, for sure. Nice. I like that a lot. I oh, shine. shine! I thought Shine would work. Patience, a lot of patience. Oh, Cypher Phoenix with a heavy lead right now. Yeah, Peacecraft needs to get something together. Yeah, and those fares are really scary because you can see that Cypher Phoenix still a crouch cancel percent gets a grab tech chase situation. Oh, oh what? No. Yeah. Okay. Wow. That Game was so yeah. interesting. That that whole exchange, Cypher Phoenix just turned it up, and. He would do a few things in a row. So he would get shines, get confirms. Right. Then he would get shines and recognize that he wasn't going to get the confirm. For sure, for sure. So all, all, every single time he would get a shine in that stock, at least, he would react the exact way you need to. Whether or not he was going to get the confirm, he did the right thing. Mm -hmm. And that led to him taking the stock. He was just very patient. He picked his spots. Yeah, I, um, I actually agree with Peacecraft going back. I actually think this stage, like you said, really good for Fox, but with how Peacecraft's style has been playing out, um, I, I feel like this is a pretty good stage for him. Because the sooner you get the Fox off stage, the better for Peacecraft. Right. Oh my god. But then also Dude, that can happen. So uh, As a Fox main, I just always look for the stage yeah. <laughs> against Marth. Um, it, 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 used, it was like old school knowledge that it was really good, and I still think there's a lot, obviously there's a lot that Mark likes here. Um, oh, man. 
but getting those early kills. <gasps> he's taken 21 percent, dude. dude. Cipher Phoenix he's is gonna be in winners finals. Just legal drinking age and already two stocks. Okay, here's something for Peacecraft. Yeah, he's actually missed that like every single time. There's been a lot of situations where it's a tech chase scenario where the tech is coming right behind him, and Cipher Phoenix Wake Up Shine has worked every time. Man, this is this is rough. Yeah. Oh, this is really rough. <laughs> yeah, and Peacecraft's edge guard starting to break down too. Oh. Okay, that was a really nice dash dance from him, but he doesn't have the same heat-seeking forward airs that have closed out those side bees so early. He's looking. Oh. Okay, well, he, get, he gets a gift. Yeah, that's not what you want to see, though, from Peacecraft. You almost wish you had closed it out yourself, right? Yeah. Because it's still a feels-bad situation right now. Okay. Oh, wow, nice wait there so that the shield poke would be more likely. Yeah. Really precise kind of angling there, but... Oh, he still had his yeah. jump! Yeah, wow, I was surprised, too. Oh, the weakest of bears is still going to kill Peacecraft there. So Peacecraft is down two stocks. Mm -hmm. oh, he needs Putting to something it. together here. Oh, he needs to really clean up perfectly. I don't know about that dare. Getting, if he doesn't get hit again, the stock. Okay, there's a grab. What's the setup here? Up air again? Okay, okay, yep. okay yeah. Possible in Yoshi's, so... Looking a little better, but Cypher Phoenix is oh really no. good at just always getting some percent. Oh no, and when Cypher Phoenix gets an up throw up air, I'm feeling like the game is probably over. Yeah. 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 Man. yeah. Brutal.